To begin with, uh, we have this concept of the people from other planets as little green men. Um, are they green from what you know? Uh, are they all the same? Help us out. Unfortunately, uh, they're, not, they're not so benevolent. A fucking alien. All right, what's good, what's good? Welcome here, 51 here with your host, Jimmy. Another day in the jungle. Give us a like, subscribe, and also become part of our community here in GoldenEyeBoxing.com for more news and stories. And uh, visit GoldenEyeBoxing.com for more news and stories. Remember that. All right, so, you know, Teofimo Lopez, again, controversial comments. He was having this interview with a bunch uh, drunk boxing. So subscribe to their channel if you get a chance. And, you know, we know that yesterday he brought up that he doesn't want to remain in ESPN after his fight with Josh Taylor. And he said that uh, black fighters can stay in ESPN, but he's going to not going to be fighting there. Now, obviously, it brought some controversy and I spoke about it, about the video yesterday. But there was another quote that uh, kind of worries me because I'm starting to think that this guy has some mental health issues. And this is nothing that is not new in boxing. I know and I met boxers who have these uh, conditions who there, which are saying things that you know you should kind of be worried about. Uh, so Teofimo said that you know one thing I love about my sport is I can kill a guy and get away with it, so it's cool. Um, that's not a really normal thing to say, especially in the sport of boxing. No boxer wants to kill another boxer so you shouldn't be bragging about things like that and I think this is only going to make you hate you more the problem is that your skill level is not like Fleming Weather Jr. during his time and I'm not a you know I never was a fan of Fleming Weather Jr. I think he avoided fighters I think he was one of the reasons why boxing went too low however he was able to speak trash and still somewhat not say crazy things like that when you are saying that you can kill a guy and get a get and get away with it it's something that is not a normal thing to say because that's not cool if you kill a guy i mean it's just that's that's not a cool thing the person might have a family or kids or children and the fact that you're celebrating that and saying it's cool you have problems you have uh, mental problems. And I don't know what it is, but I felt like this guy had emotional issues after the George Cambosos fight. I felt like everything changed for him in a bad way. And now he is just going off because he's no longer the star of boxing. See, he used to be the star of boxing when he had the three belts Vasil Lomachenko's belt was a franchise belt so it never really counted so he thought he was this undisputed destroyer who was avoiding Devin Haney and I think everything crashed after he fought George Cambosa Jr. it was the end and not only did he lose against George Cambosa Jr. Devin Haney the guy who he abducted avoided beats George Cambosa Jr. twice in a shutout fight, completely annulled his game. So, Teofimo Lopez, I think he's just not getting the support. I think he feels like people are not backing him up. He even had actually words to attack uh, Andre Ward. And uh, he says, I diss Andre Ward and Timothy Bradley, all these ma mother brothers dick ride. I mean, I think Timothy Bradley and Andre Ward have been actually pretty respectful with Teofimo Lopez just because they give their analysis and they believe that you got to watch out or, you know, you should conduct yourself in a different way. It doesn't make them uh, bad people. It doesn't make they're just writing with black people either. Um, however, uh, I, I just think that you're giving yourself and you're putting yourself in a situation where at this point, if you lose... Your own mouth is going to play a part in people mocking you. 
So I think you just shut you shut up, not say anything. Just make the fights that you want to make. It's obvious that, you know, you didn't want to fight Regis Progress, but you are fighting Josh Taylor. So, I mean, you got to get some credit for that. I mean, it's true. He's fighting Josh Taylor. Who beat uh, Regis uh, Progress? But you need to be more quiet. You need to be more discreet and not speak too much because that was kind of what happened with Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner, I have him as a pit bull. He fought everybody. Uh, and he was he was he he represented the sport more than a Gennady Golovkin or a Canelo Alvarez or a Flippin Weather Jr. who picked their opponents. All these three different fighters, he fought everybody, win or lose. You got to give him credit for that. But his mouth played against them because once you lose, it just plays against you, and people are going to mock you. So I think Teofimo Lopez really needs to um, be more wise with what he's saying to the boxing scene because it's not it's not it's not a good thing and being happy about somebody dying uh you say it's cool i have to think that you have some mental issues there and it's possible i mean fighters get hit a lot we don't know the type of sparring he's been in he almost died apparently against george cambosos jr for breathing air so i don't know that's what he said so I don't know, but there's something wrong with this kid, and uh, I think he needs some psychotherapy or somebody to help him mentally because I don't think his dad is helping him uh, with his career. In fact, I think that his dad is detrimental for his career. I thought Kenny Porter wasn't good for Sean Porter's career because of his style of boxing, but I think he needs to train with a different coach and open himself up for more criticism and also become a better fighter. He is a good fighter. But unfortunately, you know, if he loses after all these comments, he's not going to gain more people. He's going to be more hated. And that's just the truth. All right. Give us a like, subscribe, become part of our community here in GoldenEyeBoxing.com for more news and stories. And we'll see you in the next bit. Peace out and to the next universe. Deuces.